Hi, this is Maiden Fields over here in Tokyo. I produce the soundtrack for the new anime Rusted Armors, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about how I made the bad guy theme tune. Let's go. So this anime is called uh, Rusted Armors, or Sabi Iro no Ama in Japanese. Uh, episode one has just been released uh, over here in Japan, and it features um, one of the most pivotal songs, I think, that I made, which is uh, song 12, which is a theme tune for the bad guy. Meeting with the director over Zoom, um, I was told that the character was the enemy. Very, very evil, lots of destruction everywhere he goes, destroying everything. And although he's Japanese, um, he's been partly raised in Europe, in Hispania. Um, and he's returned as a conquistador to Japan. Um, the specific phrase the director used actually was uh, atto teki na tsuyosa, so like overwhelming power. So that's exactly the kind of song he wanted me to make. And he also said he wanted a mid-tempo track. That was the brief. So I had to make something which would feel like an unstoppable juggernaut of power, like a relentless march towards destruction. Um, so let's dive into Pro Tools and see what we did. So before we cover the Japanese sounds I use, let's start where I always do, which is with the drums and the rhythm. I decided on a kind of mid-tempo sounding dubstep type speed and feel to the drums, which would give me that driving, pounding, heavy feel of a conquistador. I almost always use battery uh, to arrange my drum samples, and I bring a whole bunch of kicks into the battery here, and then I choose which one I think is the one that fits the best. So this is the kick. So straight kick here and then a little double kick right here. And then when you combine that with the snare, you get this rhythm. And it's the same thing with the snare. I brought a whole bunch of uh, snare samples I thought might fit and I just went through them all and then chose the one I thought was the best one. Combined with the cymbals, And that's basically the driving, pounding rhythm that I was looking for um, for this character. I think probably the samples are really good as they were. I really didn't need to do too much processing. So then I send all these drums into this drum mix, where I'm doing a little bit of additional processing, but just a little bit. Elysium Master, just to take the edge off some of the transients. And that's it for the drums. Next is the bass. And this is where you're first introduced to what the main riff is going to be, which I think is the key feature to giving that feeling of relentless, unstoppable power uh, to this bad guy song. So firstly, in the intro is an electric bass. Uh, I use Trillion for this, which is my typical go-to for anything that's a real bass. That's basically the riff. And I've um, EQ'd it here, so I've taken out a whole bunch of uh, the low and, and highs. It's just the center point. It feels like a, a filtered bass. And then when the drop starts, which is right here, you'll see that filter go away. You'll see it bypasses there and then the whole bass uh, comes back in, the, the lows and the highs come back in. And then on top of that, uh, in the drop, I've added a synth bass, which is actually from Serum. An interesting wave with a bunch of distortion on it which gives that sound, and together, they sound like this. Again, very minimal processing on the individual tracks, but then they are feeding into the bass mix right here, which has some work on it, um, specifically Ozone 9 here. Putting a bit of crunch in at 700 hertz for bass is really useful, it just kind of brings it out and it really works here well. And I'm just going to a little peek here at 2K, and I don't remember why, but it's there, and I guess it sounded good to me at the time. And so when you combine the bass and the kick, you have that driving feel immediately. And that was cool to me, and so the next stage now is to add some synthesizers to this. A lot of this is going to be serum. So this is the first sound I made. And I'll show you the uh, plugin. Pretty simple uh, shape, a uh, whole bunch of effects on here, uh, produces that sound. And basically I made a bunch of sounds like that doing slightly different things. So this is the first one. And this is the second one. 
third one. Fourth one. And when you stack those all together, you get this. Which I think sounds really cool, really fat, exactly what I was looking for, that driving, pounding, menacing feel. This is also side chaining, as in, I'm actually drawing the side chain myself because it's doing something I wanted to do specifically. So you can hear that sucking sound. Da -da -da, na -da -da, na -da -da. That's done with uh, this automation here in the volume. And the bass actually doesn't have this automation. So there's no side chaining on the bass, which means when you combine them, it does this interesting kind of push-pull thing, kind of like a conflict thing, which again is good for the bad guy. It's just a little moment of interest. Which just basically sounds like a distorted feedback guitar, which is exactly like the layer up there in a way on the sides I wanted it to have. It feel like it's pounding in the middle and then kind of coming in from the sides as well. That's what this one does. So when you add the lows and the highs together, you get this. And you can hear that the uh, side chaining is also a little bit different there as well. The volume sucking, pulling in and out is slightly different, which again gives it that bit of movement, which I really like. The next layer is the guitars. So in the breakdown section, I've added a guitar which sounds like this. This is Native Instruments uh, Les Paul version uh, of the guitar. I really like this one, it's really awesome. Actually, the more I use it, the more things I discover. It's extremely versatile. I added Fab Filter again, the, the EQ here, taking out the lows and the highs again, just to give it that scooped feel. And then that rises over time. To give it that kind of rising effect that moves into the next drop. I've also added Maserati, which gives it a whole bunch of just presence. And that also gets sent into the music full mix. So everything is going, everything music wise is going into the music full mix right now. The drop, top and bottom layers, and the guitar mix all going into the music full mix. And then right after that section, it goes into the most aggressive drop that we have, which is another layer of guitar. So that's mirroring what the bass and the synths are doing. And when you combine them together, you get this. So those two guitar sounds basically really add a nice texture to this point of the song. And if you play the whole thing together, it sounds like this. Now let's talk about the Japanese sounds. So this was the third track I'd made at this point for this anime. And at this point um, in the process, I was thinking I was going to give all the good characters really mellow, calming Japanese sounds, like a, like a shakuhachi, for example, nice woodwind instrument. Um, and then all the bad guys, I'd give really aggressive, kind of cutting, strummy sounds, like shamisen. Um, so this track is an example of where I went with the shamisen for the bad guy. I ended up using a shamisen uh, from UVI. Here's how it sounds. So it sounds kind of ominous, kind of eerie, not quite sure what's going to happen now. That's what I was looking for for this sound. I think this fits the bad guy quite well. So this is a minor key hook with that bend of the string, which the UVI shamis have made very easy to program. And that's sitting on a bed of tracks, which are like pads, like a vocal drone and a pad sound. So that to me sounds like a, like a sacrifice is about to be performed at like an underground temple somewhere. You've got the low drone of the monks and it sounds really foreboding and dangerous. And the main part of that is the low chant here, which is from Omnisphere. Omnisphere is absolutely amazing. If you just need to find a sound now, try Omnisphere. If you need to find a vocal, you need to find a string sound, you need to find a sample of some sort, the chances are Omnisphere has it. It's pretty incredible. I was going to look for like a chant. For, for, for monks. I actually had a sample myself which I took at a temple, but it was right there, it was clean, it was done, it was ready to go. I just used this. So this is the sound. English adult choir singing in a London cathedral. Okay, well, I made it sound like it was a temple in Japan. And then I added some, uh, some uh, pro cue here, a couple of bumps here uh, to increase what I wanted and then put it through a neve just to give it just a little bit of neve love. And then I added this sub sound underneath the chanting, just to give it that, that bed of bass.
And then when you hear them together and you bring in the shamisen, it sounds like this. And that just starts the song right there. Now you know, as soon as the character appears on the screen, okay, this is a bad guy. The other Japanese sound I use in this song is the taiko drums. In the middle of the track, I break it down and have this massive, completely different section, which is just a huge taiko orchestra, basically. I think it fits the sound of a marching, driving army, constantly moving forward. There's like a really hypnotic feel to taiko drums, which I thought I could use here to make it sound like a brutal war machine. So I had to make an entirely new session here for the taiko because my computer's 12 years old. I just wouldn't take it. And it all came from variations of this track here, Taiko Big, which is a contact library. The very excellent Native Instruments Action Strikes. There's some really cool drums in here. So you can see here there's Taiko Massive Ensemble. There's Taiko Huge Ensemble. Over here there's Taiko Mid, Taiko Low. You're covered with your Taiko. So I played around with a few of those and bounced out a few. That one and this one. And then just combine those to make a really cool rhythm back in my other session. So the taikos get their own uh, mix as well. This also feeding into the drum bus above. I've got a taiko top, taiko big, and taiko top two layers, I decided on in the end. And then when you combine those three together with slightly different rhythms, especially on the low taiko. That's just me playing around and cutting up the file and making it do the rhythm that I wanted to do right here. And then I put a modeler on this one, which is just basically giving kind of like a hus effect, so it's, really, it's stereo widening. And the taikos are going into this mix here. I think I'm just taking off some of the low end right here, which I didn't need in the mix. Um, adding some Saturn to give a little bit of saturation and a little bit of soft clipping as well. Just to tame those peaks. And that's it for the taiko mix. And basically this was an entire section right after the, the first part of the song, the, the drops have come and gone. And then this just suddenly starts as a taiko moment in between the two sections of drop. And I was really excited to see they actually used this specific section in episode one of the anime, in one of the scenes where the conquistador army are plundering this village. Finally, all these sounds are being sent to my sub mix. So all the basses are going to a bass mix, all the drums are going to a drum mix, all the uh, music is going to a music mix, essentially. And that's all being fed into the final one, which is the sub mix. And that is how I made track 12. That's how I listened to exactly what the director wanted from me and gave him exactly the song that he was looking for for his bad guy character, Luthio. I'll be doing more of these song breakdowns uh, as more songs get played in the subsequent episodes of the anime, as well as giving you more specific videos uh, as to how you even start to get involved in making an anime soundtrack. I think there are some clear steps I could probably give you to help you, or even if you just find it quite interesting to hear how I did it, I think that might be of interest. So anyway, I hope this helped you, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Yume wa jitsuke